Okay, many of you may have received an email from Leslie regarding uh, the firmware updates that are available for TrueVision IP cameras. And uh, this video is going to walk you through using uh, Device Manager to update the firmware on those cameras. Uh, in the email, uh, there is a link to the Interlogix um, document showing all the different firmwares as well as containing links to the firmware for each individual camera. Uh, for this video, we're going to update the firmware in a TVA3101, which is the uh, IP pinhole camera from Interlogix. Um, as we scroll down the list here, uh, eventually down near the bottom, uh, we will see a TVA3101 uh, right here, which shows me that the firmware is this S2V 7.1 uh, firmware. Um, as I click on that, uh, it asks me what I want to do with this zip file. Uh, I will save it. Uh, these are not very big files, so they don't take very long to download. Um, that's already done. Um, once you get your download, open up your downloads folder, and there's our zip file. Uh, we do need to extract this, so I will quickly just extract all. I'm going to leave it in the same folder, um, so it stays in my download folder as S2 V7.1. Uh, FP7. You can save this to a different folder, just make sure you know where it is so that when we get to that step we know where to browse for it. Um, at this point I'm going to leave that uh, in my downloads folder and at this point I am going to get into device manager. Um, so device manager updating is going to be used for uh, updating firmware on cameras where your laptop uh, is on the same network as those cameras and can find them using Device Finder. Uh, you can see I have a bunch of different cameras uh, found on my network. Uh, right here is the TVA38101. Um, so to, this shows you that my current firmware version is V7.0 and we saw that uh, on that firmware it was actually 7.1 so we will be updating this camera. Um, this is where you would change IP address and do things for your initial setup, uh, but you see a tab up here called FW Upgrader, and that is your firmware upgrade. Uh, so first thing we need to do is pull the 3101 camera into our uh, working area, um, and by doing that we can check all the online devices. Uh, here's the list, pretty much the same list as, as those uh, cameras on the other page. Uh, we scroll down and find the TVA3101 highlight it and we see that this is already logged in. If this was not logged in we would need to log into the camera to make sure we could access it and by, to do that we would just click login device and we would type in our login credentials uh, and that camera would then say logged in. Uh, once you're logged in basically add the device and it adds it to our list uh, our working area. If you wanted to add more than one item basically just click on each one and hold down control while you click and you can select multiple cameras at once. Uh, at this point we're just going to update the one camera so I will close out of here and this shows me that we have a TVA3101 my ver current version and that I have not upgraded it yet. Down here at the bottom you see a select path this is looking for the firmware that we want to use um, so I click the browse button um, at this point, uh, I am going to go to my user folder and download. Um, double click that. We don't want to use the zip folder, we want to use the extracted folder, but here's our folder for our firmware. If I double click that, I get into the actual uh, folder, and now we see our .dav file, and that is our uh, driver file. So I highlight that, that .dav file, I click open, and now here's my path to my firmware here. Um, at this point, um, I highlight that camera. I've got my firmware here, um, and I click Upgrade. Uh, you can see that I have the option to stop upgrading here, and I have a uh, process bar down uh, up here showing me the, the uh, progress. Uh, at this point, I'm going to pause the video, and I will unpause it as this gets a little bit closer. Uh, because it does take uh, usually two three minutes before it actually upgrades.
Okay, so we uh, paused through most of that update, and as you can see, it's about 5% from being done. Um, some of you are probably wondering about cameras that are uh, plugged into the back of a TVN10. Uh, for those cameras, you will need to use the browser interface to update since uh, Device Manager can't see them, and I will uh, have a separate video showing that upgrade process. Um, as you can see, uh, we're just about done here. It is still showing upgrading. Uh, once you're done, um, you can now see that uh, it says the upgrade succeeded. Um, the version is still showing the old version. Um, that is because it has not reconnected. So once you update the firmware on a device, uh, it will uh, reboot that device uh, before it can go ahead uh, and reconnect. Um, at this point, this has succeeded and it's trying to reconnect. Uh, I'm going to come back over to the device finder portion um, and refresh this list. I'm not sure exactly how long it will take to reboot. Uh, it does not look like it's uh, been pulled up yet. Uh, once it's reconnected it will confirm uh, and show uh, the new version of the camera um, and uh, then they'll know you've uh, updated it successfully. It uh, shouldn't be too much longer here. I'm actually going to pause the video while I wait for this to reboot and I'll uh, pull back up uh, when it's ready to go. That didn't take very long. Uh, now you can see we've uh, changed our status here. Uh, the reconnect has succeeded and our version is now listed as version 7.1 uh, FP7. We come back over to Device Finder. Uh, we now have the TBA 3101 showing the new software version. So that's all there is to it, to updating the firmware on your cameras. Uh, same functionality applies for recorders. As you can see in the device finder, I'm, I'm showing uh, a TVN21 here and a TVN10. Uh, so you can use the same process uh, to update uh, your recorders. Uh, like I said, I will uh, show a different video showing updating the firmware using the browser. Thanks for joining me.